Hey YouTube, it's Tanya, VSG Tanya 2011, and this is week uh, 87, maybe 88. I'll, I'll get it right in when I title it. Um, and this is my VSG update. I uh, made a video earlier today, and I forgot to say a bunch of stuff, so I said, oh, I'm just going to make it all over again. So, I'll do the numbers first. Last week, I was 163.6, and this week, I'm 165.3. I'm up 1.7. And actually, yesterday and the day before, I was 166.6, so it um, is at least down. Um, no, no, no. I take it back. Yesterday, I, went, I was 165.3. I didn't wait today. Um, I was real upset this week and real, like, I feel like I was really hormonal. Um, you know, I haven't had my cycle for like 15 months and I really feel like my body is trying to start back again because on Monday I was, um, extremely grouchy and like moody, real bit, um, just for no good reason. I mean, I am stressed out with work, but you know, who isn't? It is an especially stressful time right now because we're closing the year and I'm an accountant. So, anyway, um, and then Wednesday I was really depressed, like, um, with seeing the scale go up and I had this whole issue with checking the BMI and, you know, when it, when it puts in big letters that you are still overweight, you need to lose weight to be healthy and, the, and it, that just effing pissed me off. So, I was real depressed on Wednesday and I really never get, like, depressed 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 so I don't know if my hormones are just like raging for some reason or I don't know so I went ahead and I scheduled an appointment with my OB I'm due for my annual appointment anyway I'm actually a month past due but I couldn't get an, an appointment for another month so uh, when I go to her I'm gonna ask her to test my hormones again and I just like either I'm trying to start my cycle again or I'm starting with like premenopause I, I, which I know I'm young but you know, it happens to a lot of people, so maybe that's what it is, and maybe there's something they can give me to help. I, I don't know. Like, just even out my, my mood swings. So, um, that's that. Today is a happy day, because today my little boy turns eight years old. So, um, it, he was so excited this morning, and he actually couldn't go to sleep last night. He was so excited, but then he said he was stressing out because he was afraid people at his camp were not going to remember that it was his birthday. And I said, well, you know what? I'm going to remember. Your sister's going to remember. Your daddy's going to remember. I went to the whole family. I said, and we're the most important people in your life, so you don't have to worry about it if nobody else remembers. So, and I think that made him feel better. So he actually has a camp out tonight at, at his camp. Um, one night every summer, they let him spend the night at camp. So he chose to do that for his birthday. And we'll do something special with him on another day. So, I'm going to buy cupcakes right now. Uh, Sunday, we're having a little party at the house for just the family. We're barbecuing. He loves bar uh, my barbecue hamburgers. Um, so, we're having hamburgers and sausage. And the whole family's going to come over. He wanted a cookie cake. So, I got him a cookie cake. And, um, you know what? On Sunday, I'm having a piece of cookie cake. Yes, I am. I am. And, um... I am stepping away from the scale. I'm gonna, I've been weighing every single day since I've been doing a No More Bullshit Challenge. And I think that has really messed with my head. Um, I am not good with weighing every day. I'm not. I can't stand seeing the fluctuation. It draws me out of my mind. So I'm going back to my once or twice a week. I'm going to try probably this week just to do once. I won't weigh again until next Thursday. Um, because i gotta, I got to break it. I just, yeah. Because I was exercising so much and trying to stick to the rules as best as I possibly can and to see the scale go up when you're doing all that really messes with you so um yeah I'm stepping away from the scale also this week I was really really exhausted and I really hit like a brick wall on uh, I think it was Monday with being exhausted and I think it was due to um just too much exercise I think that my body with my arthritis issues and yeah I just cannot push my body to exercise six or seven days a week it's just not feasible for me so I um have taken a couple of days off I have not gotten my 10,000 steps and at first I was disappointed in myself because I didn't make it through the whole 31 days we're getting 10,000 steps a day but then I realized what's more important getting to see 10,000 steps a day or protecting my body and not feeling totally run down so 
Um, and even my mom was like, I think you might want to pull back a little bit. So that's what I did. Um, I'll be back in the gym tomorrow morning for sure. And I'll probably try and get, if not to the gym, at least a walk in on Sunday morning before our barbecue, just so I can burn a little bit of calories because I know I'm going to eat that piece of cookie cake. So, um, I mean, we're, we're having burgers. I eat burgers without the bun anyway, so that's, I have burgers at least once a week anyway, so, in fact, I had a burger last night with no bun, so, that's not anything unusual for me, um, what else, what else, what else is going on, um, oh, I thought I had something going on next week that I wanted to talk about, oh, yeah, oh, my God, how could I forget, so, Monday morning, um, I have an appointment with, um, the plastic surgeon that I am 99.9% .9 sure is going to do my, uh, tummy tuck and uh, I have a couple of friends locally with my, my sleeve sister group that um, two of them have had it and are very pleased um, with this particular doctor and um, so yeah so that's 9 30 Monday morning I got my plastics consult and I am still planning on trying to schedule it for um, early to mid November and so I will probably come back on Monday afternoon just to give an update on um, how that went, exactly what we what happened and what was discussed, and you know, and that th this will be the start of my plastics um, series that I'll do. Um, I don't know how many actual appointments I would have with her bef prior to surgery, but certainly when I have my plastics, I will be fully documenting it on YouTube. So, if there's any um, questions that y'all have, you know, and things that you want to see. Let me know. I mean, obviously we have plenty of time if I'm not going to have it until November, but I'm just trying to get stuff in my head of exactly what I want to record and document. So, yep, that's happening Monday. Pretty, pretty, pretty exciting. So, anyway, y'all um, go out this week. Have a fabulous week. Don't let me bring down your No More Bullshit Challenge. That's another thing I wanted to say is that um, I wanted to congratulate other people who are participating in the No More Bullshit Challenge and really being successful. And I made a list. I got Dana, Lucille, Pam, and Christy. Um, some of y'all have had really significant weight loss and have really taken the bull by the horns with this challenge and done well. And I and really applaud you. So congratulations. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to say is, you know, I've been still watching my videos on um, plant-based eating and... Um, kind of cutting out, uh, you know, sugars and even lowering meat, um, or animal based, uh, protein. And what I wanted to say about that is I am considering, I have not done it yet. Well, I have kind of I'm trying to incorporate more vegetables and fruits into my diet, but maybe, and I, but I haven't really worked hard, hard, hard at cutting out meat based protein. I love meat. I don't ever see myself getting, taking meat out of my diet completely. But I am considering doing, like, several days a week, um, uh, plant-based diet for, like, breakfast and lunch. And I think my husband may do it with me. Um, you know, I told him, like, he could have oatmeal or a protein bar or something for lunch, I mean, for breakfast and, um, lunch, a salad, but, like, with no meat in it, you know, um, it's not gonna kill, I, I get, sometimes I wonder if I get too much protein, most days, I'm in the 120 to 140 grams of protein range, and, um, you know, sometimes I just wonder if that's just a little bit too much, so, um, with switching to a more plant-based diet, I really am not concerned that, um, hold on, this dummy, dumbass, um, sometimes I wonder if I get too much protein and I don't really need it, and so if I did a more plant-based diet, I really am not concerned that my protein will drop too low, because I'll probably still be in the 80 to 100 gram category, um, because of the protein-dense foods that I do choose, so if I do really start working on that kind of thing, I'll keep everybody up to date on how I feel and how it affects my body, okay? So y'all go out this week, have a fabulous week, go out and make it happen. I will. Bye guys.